humans and art have had a strong bond since the inception of time particularly wall paintings the art and culture of the civilizations followed them wherever they went and the image of the bustling indian streets comes to mind when we discuss the colors of culture every alley is vibrant every corner is colored indian streets are no less than art galleries but there is another side to them most indian streets are also filled with spit marks urinating men and mundane political and commercial advertisements but a few graffiti writers from delhi wanted to change the face of indian streets in the process of making this documentary we found that there are many parallels between independent filmmaking and graffiti Not only did both require a strong passion for the art form, both also demanded physical, emotional, and financial indulgence. Thus, we felt it was important to explore the relevance and significance of graffiti in Indian culture. In India, where wall painting has a long history, is graffiti art or vandalism? We were eager to find out as we took these questions directly to the pioneers of Delhi's graffiti scene. or as they call themselves the artistic vandals delhi is back to being kings again. Again. again because delhi is where it started actually in india delhi is where it started with guys like zero horus and all these people it has grown so much and i'm really happy with that because i can see it everywhere you go south delhi it's everywhere you know and i'm like really proud for foreigners here to come and uh, the people from uh, outside from even if bombay calcutta if these people come here the riders i'm speaking about if they come here and they see what's happening here then they'll be like fuck where delhi is back to being kings again because delhi is where it started actually in india delhi is where it started hi i am horus for our horus one so i've been doing graffiti since 2009 and like i've started off when i was in college in ahmedabad because it gave me some alone time from home you know like with my friends to go out at night do bombing and you know around the city so we started off like that a bunch of close friends doing graffiti trying something new hi my name is zero or mai delhi based graffiti writer hu maine 2000 आई थिंक आर्ट से ग्रफिटी स्टार्ट किया तब आई गेस ग्रफिटी एज अ फॉर्म इंडिया में था ही नहीं कुछ और मैं अपने आप को क्लेम नहीं करना चाहूँगा कि मैं पॉइनियर हूँ बिकॉज आई वॉज जस्ट अ नू वेन आई स्टार्टड एंड आई स्टार्ट विद लाइक अ चार कोल विच इज़ जस्ट अ हॉबी फॉर मी सो आई मेट दिस गाय फ्राम झारखंड एंड कोई कनेक्शन नहीं कि कभी मैं लाइफ में मिला नहीं बट कॉलेज में फर्स्ट डे वी मैट एंड वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डू यू ऑल्सो पेंट एंड लाइक येस आई डू पेंट एंड लाइक वाव सम हाउ यू नो दर इज अर इज अ पर्सन हु हैज़ अ सिमिलर इंटरेस्ट एंड नाउ वी हैव अ टीम काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग एंड वी कैन आई एम नॉट जस्ट अ लोन एंड गोइंग आउट एंड पेंटिंग बट दर इज अ पर्सन सो या ऑफकोर्स वी कैन क्रैक इट एंड वी स्टार्ट इट ग्रफीडी लाइक दैट सो हाई आई एम बॉन्ग और आई गो विद एम बॉन्गस्टर ऑल्सो So I started graffiti back in real graffiti bhi nahi pata tha so like painting walls in uh, 2010 or 2011 ke beech mein I started so I started it I did my uh, bachelor's in uh, Baroda in MSU Faculty of Fine Arts graffiti ka jo initiation hua tha it was from the movie Exit through the gift shop it was uh, on a graffiti artist named Banksy so he's not a bit of a graffiti artist we know yeah he's a artist but that time that was the only window through which we could see like what's going around in the world so art college some art movies so this was also their exit to the gift shop he does stencils so i got fascinated by it ki as i cut karke and you you know and spray stuff and So that night only, I I had a spray can, so I cut a stencil of Che Guevara, and I I took the spray cans, and I went to the painting department and I sprayed it, 
and I wrote shit happens. And then there was one friend, he was like, ye tune thoda zyada kar diya hai. Then again I went back with the white paint bucket and then you know removed it. And yeah, that was how I started and then in 2013 uh, 13 or 14 the this start uh, street art india festival was happening in delhi so yeah i came with uh, zero and a couple of other friends and there uh, i saw like people are painting huge walls you know uh, german people were there and everybody had different styles and one thing stuck to me was that they were so colorful and i'm like bachpan se i am very you know i get you know i can say i can get i get turned on with a lot of colors i like it you know colorful vibrant things so yeah it was beautiful for me to so after that only me zero uh, uh, we started our crew your for crew that time hamare paas to spray cans se sab kuch hota nahi tha to hum log paint brush distempers leke raat ko jaate the aur hum likhte the you know just we used to paint outline dete the I saw some tags by these white guys, which I presume now, you know, because I saw these tags and I was like, wow, that's beautiful. I knew it was hip hop. I knew it was graffiti, but I could not read it. It was in red, like really nice stylized font. And I was like, I think it's stencil, you know, I was like, wait, this cannot be stencil because I can see some little bit of drips, but like still smooth and some style to it that you cannot attain with a stencil then i when i look closer and i studied even more i was like hey i think i can do it the same way you know then i bought a uh, spray can with my friend's money actually i didn't have enough money then uh, i went about vasan vihar because my school was in vasan vihar then i went up about like in vasan vihar in priya complex then RK Puram area all those areas i covered with white spray paint so the thing about hip hop and graffiti and all the elements of hip hop is like there's no like particular school or college that you can go right to learn it there's a term in hip hop that says like each one teach one you know so like everyone you have to learn from your friends or what they have gathered uh from them so you share your things you share your techniques you share your skills so we have to come together you know to exchange all this a lot of people have mis misunderstanding about graffiti and wall art or street art all these things are different these are not like one thing picking up a spray can and painting with something with spray paint is not graffiti there is a commercial aspect to street art but whereas this graffiti it's more of a anti establishment plus you know it's like a fun thing fun more it's beyond like uh, commercialism and art you know it's to go beyond there will be like people coming and going there will be people taking up projects there will be like uh, people doing uh, beautification projects for the government and they will be hiring artists it's a good thing that these things should come up the art should be promoted in every way but as an artist as a graffiti artist like graffiti is very personal a person is writing their own name in their style and it's not it, graffiti doesn't belong to the street you know graffiti can be over a train can be over a old uh, building can be over a car or for a, whatever you know it's uh, that's the thing that uh, like segregates graffiti from street art street art belongs to the street street is fine graffiti is your thing you, how how far and how wide you can take it you know your name that's your very personal that's very personal things so this is actually a big graffiti jam wala wall so yahan pe almost uh, you know 1 2 3 4 ha huh, 11 artists are there in total so this happened in uh, april uh, ek hum hi logon ne matlab all the underground people we organized zero i smog and all so it was called elements so usme there were a lot of things like every element of it, underground hip hop jo jaise skateboarding ho gaya rap ho gaya beatboxing ho gaya you know djing ho gaya and graffiti all of it to so, ye hum logon ne fir ye kiya tha so for that we sabne jitne bhi artist hai hum logon ne sketch banaya tha we made some sketches and then you know we shared it in the group and then uh, i think uh, yeah zero curated it so 
Yeah, so we decided which one to go. Just got chali laga. We asked them to change, and then yeah, on the day we painted. So it was it was a good 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 thing happening in the you know underground hip hop scene. If you ask me about this piece, so I try to play a little game with the audience who wants to see. So the color of the you see the iconography जो है वो blue है इस औरत का. So people will automatically relate it to Kali, but it's not Kali. So you know you can see the tongue out, but still not Kali because uh, women women can always tease you, you know. Like that, and there's a little stamp in there, so it can be a sign of happiness, or or it can be some psychedelic drugs. I don't know, and I don't want to say also. So it's up to the people to perceive. And background, so these are my white style letters. So letters are an important part of graffiti. You can see letters are there. It's a K. Then this is an H. This is an A. This is a T. Then R, and then A. So these are all letters. So letters are a very important part in the graffiti. So if letters are not there, graffiti is not graffiti. We won't. It's it's a matter of respect. So yeah, there are different styles like bubble styles, wild style, hand styles. So these are some hand styles you can see. So this is how we practice. Practice this flow, uh, and uh, flow is very important in you know all the elements of hip hop. So you can see in every piece, no? You can say this is my piece. I'll show you this one. This is Khadra, so you can see it's more like calligraphy, but it has a uh, raw touch in it also. And so you can see, like it's very raw, but it has a aesthetic value, you know. See you what is what red card? Like people have given their precious time, effort, and without any, you know, you know, being getting paid for that or anything. It's a big outrage for like us who were like like in the scene from so so long ago. That horse cars, जो वो place है, that that's been there for a long time, like more than 30 years or हो गया है, मतलब 30 साल से ज़्यादा हो गया है वहाँ पे बहुत बड़े-बड़े जो pioneers थे दिल्ली के या फिर Indian graffiti scene के, वो लोग आके वहाँ पे paint करके गए, even international artists like Bond, Daku, MCD and like these are big names who have come and painted over there. तो अभी this is like a legacy spot. वहाँ पे मतलब सारे जितने भी writers हैं अभी के they get inspired and no it's like a school मतलब बिना बोले एक school जैसा है जहाँ पे and the walls are like history. But again what they did is that they painted over a mural that was there for like eight years and suddenly they have painted over a mural and they haven't they haven't like painted over it totally they have pasted something. Uh, like a film of the whole like advertisement over that mural that was a big outrage for like us what we did was to just to just as a retaliation we see you have got to respect art like people have matlab ek tarah se they have given this precious time effort and without any you know being getting paid for that or anything so they they are doing it so that's why it's like you can't destroy a spot which is there for so long. This outrage that caused that's also made uh, made lot of us to come together. So it's another good thing in a way, you know. It's like people came together to like protest in their own way. And abhi bhi wahan pe bahut sare naye restaurants ban gaya. That place is I think almost gone. But still we are trying to survive and make it, you know, work. But Let's see. We are trying, trying, doing that, and I think Budweiser ने अपनी गलती मानी भी है उसके बाद, and I think अभी ठीक है, but what's done is done, and I want people to know कि this is there and this is also a part of culture. Uh, most of the time we don't plan के okay ये Sunday है तो मैं जाके या तो आज पंद्रह अगस्त है तो मैं मोदी जी या फिर कोई ऐसे पॉलिटिशियंस का वो बनाऊंगा या आज मैं ये करूंगा तो ऐसा कुछ प्लान नहीं होता बट ऑफ कोर्स जैम हम अपने बेसिकली स्टाइल को इम्प्रूव करने एक तरीके से स्केचिंग सेशन यू कैन से वेर यू बेसिकली यू नो वट एवर यू हैव इन योर स्टाइल इज जस्ट ट्राई टू मेक इट मोर बेटर तो मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी डू आर फ्री फ्री स्टाइलिंग एंड यही सेशन है लाइक 
उसमें कैसे कैसे बेसिकली आपका इवॉल्व होता है और चीज़ें वेदर इट्स लाइक कलर ट्रीटमेंट और uh, उसका स्टाइल ट्रीटमेंट है और मे बी एनी तो ऐसा कुछ स्पेसिफिक नहीं है बट या मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इन फ्री स्टाइलिंग इट इज ऑल्सो हैपन वेन यू आर नो एट द स्पेस जहाँ की एनर्जी इट गिवज यू अट सो लाइक फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल इट्स मोस्टली यू नो काइंड ऑफ अ वेब जहाँ पे जस्ट ये बिल्डिंग के अंदर बहुत सारे ऐसे लेटर्स और वट एवर कचरा शचरा सब ऐसे स्टक है सो आई जस्ट थाट वाई नॉट यू नो मेकिंग वन स्पाइडर हु इज कैचिंग ऑल दीज काइंड ऑफ इंसेक्ट्स यू कैन से सो या समाइम इट डिपेंड ऑन द प्लेस बट इट्स नॉट लाइक वेरी प्री प्लान और लाइक सोच समझ के किया हुआ तो इंडिया में मेरे को लगता है कि मेन चीज़ है कि क्राफ्ट पे ध्यान दो और करते रहो क्योंकि वही चीज़ है इसको अपनाना और इंडियनाइज करना भी एक बात है तो अपने हिसाब से करो तुम्हारे लिए ग्रफिटी क्या है वैसे करके करो बेसिकली वी आर फ्रॉम डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फील्ड्स एंड यू नो ऑन संडे वी वी गेट फ्री एंड वी गेट आर टाइम टू पेंट वॉल्स सो हाउ वी डिसाइड इज वी यू नो लाइक देर देर इज अ ड्यूटी ऑफ ईच वन वन ऑफ द मेम्बर लाइक यू नो वी फाइंड वॉल्स वी फाइंड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्पॉट्स एंड वी सेंड पिक्चर्स टू इच अदर and then we decide like here we can do this like we also need a wall height and free spaces whether you know there is no there is uh, no issues there like public you know should not be uh, you know they should uh, they should not you know intervene in our in our process so yeah we take all these things into consideration and we discuss and then we'll meet basically jaisa sunday hamara jam hota hai mostly hum sundays ya saturdays ko hi paint karte hain to usse दो चार दिन पहले हम लोग पहले स्केच कर लेते हैं सोच लेते हैं कि इस बार हमें ये कुछ नया ट्राई करना है जैसे मैंने इस बार बनाया है पहले मैं नॉर्मली बबल लेटर्स बनाता था और हिंदी में लिखता था योगी बट इस टाइम मैंने इंग्लिश और हिंदी का फ्यूजन ट्राई किया है जो मेरे ख्याल से पहले से बेटर है एंड तो वो मैंने इस बार ट्राई किया इसके लिए मैंने स्केचिंग की हाँ रिसर्च के लिए हम लोग थोड़ा ऑनलाइन तो जाते हैं दूसरे राइटर्स को देखते हैं कॉपी नहीं करते इंस्परेशन तो ज़रूर लेते हैं मैं वो उसको जुटलाऊँगा नहीं एंड बेसिकली फिर इसके बाद स्केचिंग के बाद हमारा प्रोसेस आता है कि हम कलर्स चूज़ करते हैं कलर्स कौन से अच्छे रहेंगे हमारे पास कलर्स कौन से अवेलेबल हैं कई बार ऐसा होता है कलर्स कम है और मंथ एंड भी चल रहा है पैसे भी नहीं है तो वो भी देख के चलना पड़ता है तो उस हिसाब से हम लोग कलर कॉम्बिनेशन मिला के बट कम पड़ता है तो आपस में भी हम लोग मिल के कि हाँ तेरे पास ये है तो मेरे को वो दे दे सो वो हमारा बॉन्ड चलता रहता है इट्स एक्सपेंसिव बिकॉज यू सी लाइक ग्रफीरी कैन Now the 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 actual graffiti cans are let's say four twenty rupees, four fifty rupees. The local ones are two hundred rupees, one fifty if you get lucky. So it's for you to be able to paint like a whole piece, you need like a couple of thousand rupees, you know. I mean, for me, I started with buying the local cans as well, which is which was for like two hundred rupees. Way back when I was in school, you can actually buy wall paint to fill the lot of gaps. You can use spray paint for the outline. Oh wow, like. I didn't know. Oh, you actually, you can actually have multiple sketches on a sketchbook. So that's how, for me, that's how I learned. You know. However, you can like sustain your art. You should do it. Whatever materials you can get. Materials can be anything. Like even if it's uh, like a spray paint, that's just the cheap spray paints or like expensive spray cans. It doesn't matter. But the only question is how you can you know get the supplies. So. I jumped into commercial that's the only you know possible way to get your paints and you know get your supplies initially what we started we started with like picking up some uh, commercial project in our college day aur uska jo bhi leftover bachta tha usse hum log basically raat mein ja ke we just figure out what we can do because that's the only aim to get the paint and do what you really wanted to paint future to bahut bright lag raha hai graffiti ka but it's like it needs a, a lot of hard work abhi it's like a little little baby so people are getting to know it logo ko dheere dheere pata chal raha hai aur jo uska flavor hai actual flavor hai matlab which is not commercial which is just for the art for art sake so that gives the history and culture of the you know uh, the this culture all of it uh, so yeah abhi lot of people are trying to Uh, do it and it's a good thing bahut sare naye naye log they are trying to do graffiti 
एंड ये ग्यारह में ही ऑलमोस्ट नौ जन दिल्ली से ही बिलोंग करते हैं सो देर आर लोकल आर्टिस्ट ऑल्सो कमिंग अप एंड दे आर गुड डूइंग गुड वर्क लाइक रियल गुड वर्क सो बस वी हैव टू डू अ लॉट ऑफ वर्क एंड वी हैव टू डू इट कंसिस्टेंटली एंड कीप प्रोमोटिंग इट एंड कीप एजुकेटिंग पीपल अबाउट वॉट दिस आर्ट फॉर्म इज इट्स नॉट जस्ट यू नो यू नो इफ यू कॉमन पीपल को किसी को हिप हॉप के बारे में पूछे दे Mostly they will say rap or beat, uh, b-boying or breaking, but उसमें भी बहुत सारे genres है rap में सब genres है breaking में सब genres है graffiti is also a huge part and there is many other part even की lifestyle entrepreneurship a lot of things are there in hip hop so it's not just you know some element it's a whole culture which we are trying to build. I don't know like what is the future for graffiti, but what I see. how like art world is moving back in days art always considered as like gallery art art where you have to you know set up a canvas paint so those are like you know traditional way of practicing your art but in this time 2022 technology itni zyada advanced hai now you just write a prompt or just imagine something there is a ai tool available you just write and they will give you the art piece so of course you cannot compare ke jo 90s mein kiya tha uska future alag tha and jo aaj kar raha hai uska future alag hai definitely because there are more possibility more tools available more accessibility available i believe there is a lot of scope and there is a lot of future in graffiti also I mean as far as as far as the 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 future you know I I can't really say because it's like I said it has its up and down you know with the way it's going if it continues I'm sure a lot of kids and other b-boys I've seen some b-boys have transitioned to being graffiti artists also a lot and so I I I'm positive that I think the the whole the whole movement will start all over again you know because even for me it has never really died it's just that with my restaurant career it becomes a little bit hectic with everyday life you know i have like delhi and aizol and i have to like back and forth so i do see like a um, especially now when i come after covid i've i've come here after covid and seeing all the throw ups and tags i've been seeing around man i'm happy now i think it's going to be good later I'm not, I'm not afraid, afraid of, of cops or, or system, system but I'm but afraid I'm of afraid people of in the society, society. because, because they, they, are, they they can, can, can literally, literally lynch you, lynch you for, for whatever, whatever reason. reason if they found it, it is not appropriate not these days spray can is like a very accessible material and lot of conflicts are happening between society and politicians and like laws and system where everyone wants to you know i think raise up their voice through spray can so those people have i believe different agenda i don't consider them a graffiti writer so whenever if you are thinking about graffiti do not consider as vandalism graffiti is not vandalism graffiti is a art form jo ek apne aap mein letter exploration abstraction or tool exploration ka medium hai na ki vandalism hai the graffiti started in greece like that like uh, if you don't like a politician you used to make the caricatures and that's uh, in the street so that's the start of graffiti to like say something without with a anonymous voice you know so these are the things these are the key elements that it should not be erased from this art form that's what i want to say you know the, it, it gives you a voice it's a very powerful medium to say what you really feel and not being like bought by lot of corporates and other things that uh, that are around you know they are like vultures of the culture like they are always like looking for people who will do it for cheaper so there will be always there like someone who will do it for cheaper but if you are getting if you are able to do something and say something like from your voice that matters at the end of the day i feel नए लोग आ रहे हैं आई फील दैट डेडिकेशन का थोड़ा कमी है एंड मेन चीज़ ये है कि ग्राफ से अगर पैसा कमाना है तो इट विल टेक ए लॉट ऑफ टाइम और पैसा कमाना है उसी लिए ग्रफिटी करना है दैट्स आई थिंक दैट्स ए रॉन्ग थाट प्रोसेस 
and but once you are true to the thing which you are doing it and if you are doing it for enough time i think you will you will get the benefits so you just have to be true to yourself and whatever you are doing and keep doing it so yeah it all boils down to a person's ethics and the artist's perspective you know like he has to sustain himself as a graffiti artist you can also do murals fine you can do it there's no stopping to it as an artist you can do whatever you want you know like even if people are calling you a sell out for painting the prime minister's face but at the end of the day it's, it was your decision and you do it no one could stop you you know you can do anything but how you do it how ethically you are if you really love the prime minister go ahead you do it if you have something to say about him you can do it in your own way also so that's the power of art you know the, that's the power of graffiti the major like you know you can say uh, event in my life where i first time went into inside the jail so i think it's in 2020 2022 we were just painting and there's like ukraine and russia ka war or everywhere you know every graph writer or every artist is supporting a cause jisme sab log basically just wanted to write or say a positive message to the world so couple of friend along with me and like you know my crew we thought okay we used to also you know we should also do this it's in the favor of world not ki hame support karna hai kisi party ko ya kisi particular community ko it's just to like you know sign of peace so we thought okay hum log jaate hain paint karte hain we decided a place we decided a day and then we reached to the spot we were painting also and it was like you know a very uh, positive environment for some time but suddenly of course there was two three guys came and they were like asking us ki kyun kar rahe ho kisse pucha kya kiya so aap ye bhi dekh sakte ho jo ek time tha 2010 se 15 ka aur jo abhi time hai 15 se 20 ka it was really different i am not afraid of cops or system but i am afraid of people in the society because they are they can literally lynch you for whatever reason if they found it is not appropriate so ye ek aisa incident tha jo faridabad mein hamare sath hua jahan pe hum log paint kar rahe aur uske sath thoda bahut bola chali hui and then we said okay theek hai hum log nahi kar rahe and one of our like a uh, friend he said i am going to paint it because i spend my day i spend my money i spend my you know time energy everything just for this aur aap aage mein ko rok doge aise to it's not right and somehow it is turn into a bad side and they called cops also and we got arrested sort of not like literally with like you know uh apne haath mein hath kadiya aise liye but yeah it's just like a complaint so we were in a station and yeah they were like asking kya karte ho kyun karte ho kis se pucha paisa kamate ho wahi same questions but yeah we explained them this is what we are trying to generate and we have no bad intention we are not doing something against to the politicians or like society it's just we are in a favor of the world and we want to do give a message and then we show our like you know couple of work which we have done and explain them like ये चीज़ हम लोग इस टाइप के लोग हैं ना कि जो आप अपने नज़र से देख रहे हो इस टाइप के एंड देन समाउ वी गॉड लाइक ऑफकोर्स दैटस गो एंड द पर्सन हु स्टॉप डज ही ओनली अलाउ अस टू पेंट ओके ठीक है कर लो टाइप सो या इट वॉज लाइक गुड एक्सपीरियंस सो फार आई डोंट कंसिडर कॉप्स और लाइक एनी system related person as a negative but yeah of course they have a duty they have to also check but we also have a certain like aim or like goal which we are trying to achieve and we are not trying to portray a negative picture through graffiti so do not consider graffiti as vandalism this is from my perspective you have your own and people have of course their own perspective वी वर ऑल लाइक यू नो काइंड ऑफ आप एनर्जेटिक बोलो या फिर उसको एक्साइट बोलो या एक एक स्टेज था जो क्लियर हो गया आई गेस 
एंड वी वर सुपर लाइक एनर्जेटिक दैट डे कि ये तो अब हो गया लाइफ में अब और क्या सो एंड यू नो आवर क्रू यू फॉर क्रू जो इट्स बिन देर सिंस टू थाउजेंड टेन एंड वी आर स्टिल गोइंग ऑन बट अभी क्रू में कुछ नए लोगों को हमने शामिल किया सो एंड या सो वी वेर लाइक प्रैक्टिसिंग लाइक वी वी सैट ऑल नाइट होली का एक पार्टी था एट माई प्लेस एंड लाइक वी वेर सिटिंग एंड चिलिंग एंड स्केचिंग स्केचिंग ऑल नाइट एक्चुअली हम लोगों ने स्केच किया मतलब हम लोगों ने दो रात लगातार स्केच किया एंड देन यू नो पीपल डेवलप मतलब उसी दिन वी वेर ट्राइंग टू डेवलप अवर स्टाइल वी वेर राइटिंग लाइक डूइंग अवर हैंड वर्क हैंड स्टाइल वॉट एवर शेड सो मी बॉन्ग एंड दस अनदर न्यू राइटर कॉल पोसी वी वो लाइक हाई एंड लिटरली हाई एज फॉर सो दैट डे वी वो जस्ट डिस्कसिंग अबाउट लाइक ग्रफीटी हाव इट स्टार्टेड हाउ इंडिया स्टार्टेड एज ग्रफीटी सो आई गॉट लाइक न्यूज पेपर देर वॉज लाइक लॉट ऑफ स्केच पैंस और लाइक यू नो मटीरियल टू एक्सप्लोर सो आई वॉज जस्ट राइटिंग ऑन लाइक न्यूज पेपर आई कैन ऑल्सो शो यू प्रैक्टिस वी डेड ऑन दैट डे एंड वो एक पॉइंट था जहाँ पे हम लोग ने उस रात को इतना इतना बेसिकली एक्सप्लोर किया था दैट वी लिटरली एवरी वन हैज लाइक यू नो फाउंड देयर ओन स्टाइल सो एंड दैट नाइट वी डिसाइडेड कि चलो लेट्स सी वॉट वी हैव एंड वी हैज सम कैंस सो या सो दिस इज द होल वॉल इट्स द क्रू वॉल तो ये हम लोग को परमिशन मिला था फ्राम दिस दिस इज दिस होटल आई थिंक The owner was a nice person. He's a nice person, so he gave us the permission to paint on the wall. And yeah, this this is like very important. Like so, every three months or four months, we come and repaint it. So it's like a get together kind of, you know, jam happening. The spot is basically, you know, found by uh, Zain. I mean, he's the only first person who painted over there. Uh, that spot is was like you know just uh, blank canvas i mean just like trash and sewer and you know lot of shit around us time pe i don't think ke kisi ko pata bhi tha ye banda yahan pe paint kyu kar raha hai kya purpose hai and then bond also painted over there we also found it because i met uh, bond in uh, 2019 and we were discussing yeah let's do paint this time and he said uh, there is a spot near to this wall and do you know about this spot i'm like no i have no clue then i went with him i was just blown like what the fuck what what kind of a uh, you know uh, space is this um back in 2012 2011 to 2012 there was a lot of tags happening a lot of djs were also tagging because you have a lot of because back then we also had this thing called indo german hip hop project out of which grew a lot of new interest for graffiti art as well you know it was like a it was b-boying mcing djing graffiti it was all like it had everything and they had uh, graffiti artists like lumit walk tasso who were like doing realistic stuff some of them are doing like classical stuff also and classical new york letter styles so they could see like hey graffiti it's possible to paint a portrait letters expressionism style you know so it opened a lot of minds back then and it sort of died down in a sense uh i guess because a lot of them had to go to with their own career path and things like that and a lot of the guys who started also i think they did it sort of like maybe to further their career into their let's say their graphic designers they have the portfolio of graffiti artists then they get a good job and they're like ah oh, like you know they get a step back with graffiti which is fine you know 2016 uh i have applied for uh, international uh, graffiti festival which is street of style and wo brazil mein ho raha tha curitiba from different different part of the world people have come there was the only point you can say where i have actually uh, entered in the world of graph more deeply because it is just not like where i just meeting people who come to india and expl- explain about graph i was there in the scene jo actually mein ho raha hai and not just like you know festival wide but apart from that uh, there is like you know lot of 
throw out tags and a street vibe you can feel in other country so wo ek turning point tha jahan pe we have learned a lot of thing about like graph even the not just about the graph but uh, complete uh, culture kaise har ek ka style different hai and everyone was just like you know not just painting letters but there is a, a, a person who's like really master in portraits or there is a guy who's you know really into abstraction so i was in kridiba wahan pe it was different then i moved to uh, rio so the graph and other thing was like completely different over there it's just not like uh, you can just go and paint very easily if you have to like you know be a master i would say aapko ek bar brazil ya south america jaake you have to like feel it and prove it then you can say ah okay i'm i'm i am something you know it's not that easy to paint over there in the graffiti uh teamwork is also a very important factor because as a crew we like four or five people or all the members of the crew they come and they jam jamming is also like a collaboration of the pieces it's not like my piece is looking very separate from the other's piece so aap agar teeno piece ko bhi alag alag karke dekhoge wo apne mein ek piece hai but as a whole panch artist hai ya teen artist hai sabke pieces milke ek pura ek bada piece bhi banata hai so ye team work bhi bahut zaruri hai team work ke baad hi aata hai respect so if you don't respect your team members or your crew mates so ye collaboration hoga hi nahi and the thing about like a crew is always helpful is uh, when you're doing graffiti you need a lookout you know you need someone with you we it's it's like it graffiti involves a risk little vandalism also it's like the part of the game you know people of the same mindset come together it's even better because it creates a group it creates a belonging you know of some you feel you're part of something something big so these are the things that also attract kids and people from other backgrounds to learn something but it's also hard for you to get into a crew or something if you don't prove yourself but the crew helped us to go out at nights together you know like so that's one thing that always like gives you a backup a push it's also fun going out doing things together so there are so many crews right now that like, that are coming up t3k from chennai like in bombay there is this and like pune there is easy crew guwahati inks and here in delhi and around in parts we have ufo so you know when the crew comes together people with the same mindsets they come together and they can create something bigger and better so yeah दो चीज है विच आई आई थिंक दैट आई कैन डू बेस्ट सो दैट स्टैटू एंड दैट इज कफीडी तो पहला सबसे ज्यादा जो मुझे फैसिनेट करता है इज वेन यू आर डूइंग टैटू इट्स लाइक माइक्रोस्कोपिक टू गो डी पहले तुम घुसते करना पड़ता है एंड वेन यू आर डूइंग ग्रफीडी यू आर पेंटिंग विथ अ होल बॉडी इट्स नॉट जस्ट की यू आर पेंटिंग विद हैंड इवन इफ यू आर डूइंग अ स्मॉल टैग विद अ मार्कर you should not you, you do it with your body okay so it's like you are it's a performance so that's why this this coexistence of small and this big this amalgamation i i feel good so it's it's a way of you know expressing myself and you know letting letting out something so yeah that's the main thing i do i mean graffiti relevance in india is graffiti is relevant everywhere actually you know there's no irrelevance to graffiti anywhere around the world where where there is spray paint where there is wall where there's humans sprayed it's relevant whether it's political or not does it does not matter you know you write your name you write a, some guy's name or you want to diss somebody or you want to express your love also it's all graffiti so it's relevant and for me it has never been about uh politics or political aspirations or 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 to voice my opinion ever you know i've been having some uh, thoughts about those as well to express my but then i'm like uh, that's not that's not for me you know because for me graffiti has been so ingrained in my blood now so to speak you know um till today it feeds me till today because even the restaurant that i have um became more popular so to speak because it was like a graffiti artist run restaurant that's how it was coded as and a lot of people it got a lot of people to humayunpur from way back also 
So for me, graffiti is about expression about yourself, finding about your style. And that's what I always realized, like I used to um, take offense in, in, in newspapers all the time. They're like, political, political. Mama, it's not political. We're just trying to chill and paint and just hang out, you know, or drink beer and smoke and just paint and just, it's like a stress buster even, you know what I mean? You hang out with your friends, you present your style and it's like the secret, secret um, competition going on. Oh, my Z is better than yours, you know? So it's a healthy competition at the end of the day, but you elevate yourself with each piece and stay true to yourself, you know? That's, that's, that's what it is for me. And it's an expression at the end of the day. Nothing to do with like the government or what. We're taking the government walls, yes, but like that's as, as political as it can get. <laughs> yeah, then slowly, slowly, we got a job and I went to do my higher studies. So there I, I, I got a little bit into street art. So I was going to get a turmoil in my mind. What's graffiti and what's street art? What should I do? In street art, it was big, it was bold. And graffiti ko pehle se ek bad name de diya gaya hai, you know, like vandalism. So I thought that why not Indian context? I was trying to find ki in India is graffiti necessary or not. So I moved into street art. So I was doing street art and stuff. But then again, I had uh, some, you know, some depressing state around in 2019. Uh, I was in Bombay. So there I met, uh, again uh, I connected with Zero, he had come for some time. So and there were other graffiti artists also from, you can say all over India like who all were practicing. So there was Epoch, there was Monkey, there was Zeke. So yeah, I, 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 I went with them, they were painting. So they were doing graffiti. And then one thing I remember, I think, yeah, Zero told me that graffiti is all about letters. And I, I couldn't do letters, so I was doing characters. So I thought, yeah, let's let's do letters. And there was nobody to teach. Like, yeah, like there is no school for graffiti, right? You you learn it by your own way. So yeah, I started. I I had a new job. So every day in the office, I used to like, you know, paint letters, practice my letters. So there there, I developed my bong style. The set of character plus letters so yeah and then after that while doing graffiti it was covid time i was all alone so i used to go paint so yeah that feel that fun no that that adrenaline rush i was i was thrilled yeah, i'm going out i'm painting again so then i figured out it's just like you you should feel good at the end of the day like if i stand in front of, front of the mirror i should feel good about myself you know i've done something so yeah i found that graffiti is what i am and yeah then i moved back to graffiti came back to the roots and now i'm just doing graffiti graffiti merely ek tarike ka escape hai where i just find myself on like it's just me with me kind of a thing <laughs> sounds odd but huh it's just a space where i feel free also enjoy like you know whatever whatever i'm practicing so yeah maybe logo ke liye graffiti ek alag alag perspective hai har log ke liye for me it's just like escape so jitna bhi kaam ho jo bhi ho i will make sure ke I'll just do something on on a wall, on street, especially on my city. My aspirations have never really changed, so to speak. Uh, my vision has changed a little bit in terms of like my style. I feel like I've reached a certain point where I'm comfortable with my letter structures, but it does it, it never ends because letter structure is kind of good, but the technique of painting and the the the, the stylized version and the color combination and things like that never changes and so that's the beauty of graffiti you know even if you feel like you have become you're always becoming you know so it's always sprouting which is why even my tattoo when for, for, for example I have a chrysanthemum flower here fully grown but there's another one which is still growing so it's like an unending cycle of like growth and rebirth you know 
So, which is what is important in uh, even in my art as well, you know, if I want to call it art, kind of shy away from calling it art sometimes. <laughs> so, um, it's 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 an unending pursuit of, um, if you want to sound it as cliched as possible, like unending pursuit of perfection. I want to answer a simple question that the writers here mm -hmm. in Delhi or mm -hmm. anywhere else, mm -hmm. uh, probably in the world, mm -hmm. are they artists or vendors? Because the perception of graffiti is still uh, for common people like it's vandalism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are, you are kind of destroying the graffiti. It's the yeah, yeah. stereotypical. Mm -hmm. So what do you think it is? I mean, I just have one line for that. We are artistic vandals. That's what it is. <laughs>